Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to my shop. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how I make these push blocks for my table saw for pushing wood through it without exposing my hands. Also being able to keep pressure down on it and then a foot to kind of grasp it and keep it pushing it along. So works great. This one I've kind of worn out a bit. It's a sacrificial piece made out of two by fours and after a while it uh, gets so cut up, got to make some more. So what I do is I cut up some scrap 2x4 I've got around. I might cut up about half a dozen or a dozen of these at a time. And I cut them to 6 inches long and then I mark them with a line that's a quarter inch in. And then it stops a half inch from the end of that. That's where I'll form my foot on there. Then I do the same thing on the other side too. About a quarter inch deep, the footer about a half inch in. And I'll go to the deuce. Then what I'll do is go to the bandsaw and cut these out, and I'll show you how I do that. Works great. Then the end product is going to look like this before I start sacrificing it and getting it all cut up. So, works great. Wear out one side, flip it over, and use the other side. All right, I'll show you how I do these. Okay, so what I've got here is a couple of images of my worn out 2x4 push block that I use at my table saw. And this gets cut up quite a bit and worn out because I use it to pass over the saw blade as it supports both sides of the cut. Now in this image, you can see how I set up my cut lines and I mark it so that it's a quarter inch from the edge on the, along the long length and then a half inch in from the very end to give me a heel. The heel helps to carry uh, and push the pieces through through the saw blade. Now in this image you can see how I set this up on my table saw for cutting and lining it along my fence on the table saw so I get a straight cut and then I stop at the stop line that crosses across that. <laughs> All right, well, that's how I make these um, simple table saw push blocks, which are really great, cheap and easy, and really good and useful. So uh, another way is getting one of these grippers, which is excellent in its own use and can be safe depending on what kind of woodworking you do. But for a lot of small projects, I just grab one of these and do that. So anyways, I'll sand down some of this sometimes uh, just to make sure I don't get any splinters off of anything and make it smooth. So anyways, if you enjoyed this, please give me a like and hit that thumbs up icon. Also, please share it with your family, friends, and fellow craftspersons. And I also like to hear your suggestions, any comments that you have, anything you'd like to see. We all want to hear what you want to see. So also, uh, please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell icon so you won't miss anything. Thank you.